for people with autism, it's basically we are a different normal. We, you know, we go about the world like everyone else, but we do have some differences because we do have something special to bring to the table. We just need to be given that chance. And the 15% of people with autism in work, that needs to change. I can't express that enough. That needs to go up. I really hope that employers see this as a wake-up call, you know, the 15%, because people with autism do have skills. We can commit to goals and accomplishments. We will value it at 100% so much more. It's made me feel more independent, more, you know, I've got a bigger social life. I go out in the world, I speak to people. And that's something I wouldn't have been able to do if I hadn't been employed by Visit Scotland. Mm -hmm. So, you know, kudos to them. <laughs> What do you think it is um, stopping uh, like that? What, where, what's the hurdle? Um, for... mm. The interview stage. Um, I know, speaking from like from experience, you know, the ten interviews, you know, that rejected me. I just don't understand it. I don't know whether it's because employers are slightly hesitant. You know, autism is actually not as you know well known. It's only just coming out into the world in the twenty first century. So... Do you personally think that people with autism should let interviewers know that they have autism? Yes, I highly recommend that they do so because, you know, at least they're basically giving the employer a chance to actually make those connections. If they do, if, if you do think and feel a certain way, at least they have an an, a formal answer. You know, the worst case scenario, if you hide it, you know, you're, only, you're not only being dishonest to the employer, you're being dishonest to yourself. So I highly recommend that you disclose in an interview that you're autistic.